Hey guys, the Cubed here. Today I'll be unboxing and comparing a few different types of fidget spinner puzzles. So from left to right, we have a fidget cube spinner for 10 bucks on the cubicle. We have a Chi 3x3x1 spinner for $13 on the cubicle. And then these two are both Ganoa brands. I've never heard of them before, but they reached out to me. So they sent me these to sort of compare to some other puzzles. But both of these are $9 and can be found on Amazon. And I'll have links to all of these down below in the description. So getting into the Ganoa first, this first one, there is no sort of name brand for this yet. I know Nathan Wilson, uh, if you guys have not heard of his channel, he m designs a lot of different puzzles. And I'll have a link to his video uh, of this puzzle down below that he made. And it seems like some people knocked it off. And so what it is, is it's a three by three that functions as a normal three by three, but it spins when you hold it on these two center caps. So it doesn't work on these other ones, but you see here that this will spin. So uh, I guess I'll do first spin rather than first turn. So you hold it on both of these and that is a lot smoother than I was expecting. And all satisfying as you get with fidget spinners. All right, so now let's go ahead and do first turns. All right, so this is very dry. I hear some spring noise. But right out of the box, it's not the worst thing for what it is. So this is an off-brand 3x3. It's meant mostly to be sort of a novelty puzzle fidget spinner thing. Uh, let's go ahead and mix this up. So I'd never use this in competition. I don't even think this is competition legal. Scratch that. I don't. It's not. I don't think this is not competition legal. So don't go trying to use this in competition. But here's what it looks like scrambled. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick solve on this. That is really oddly satisfying. I actually don't have any normal fidget spinners with me. Now that I've moved to Washington, I left a couple of them at home. But this is definitely gonna make up for that. Uh, so anyways, this is nine bucks and it's by Ganoa. It comes with a little cube baggie, which I'll definitely be using for most likely my main, and then a nice little cube stand right here. All right, so out of the box on the Gnobo one, all you get is this fidget spinner. It looks kind of uh, interesting because there's no black border along the edges for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but it kind of throws off the entire look. Whereas on the Chi one, uh, it's much smaller. Here you can see them next to each other. Uh, the Chi one comes with a nice little baggie for it. It has a picture of the spinner. And the box is actually a pretty cool stand. So notice these little indents, which help with turning. They also kind of sit on top of that. And so that's not gonna go anywhere. So it's a nice little stand for it, which you don't, don't get with the off-brand one. So going into first spins, let's go ahead and try this one out first. All right, so that spun for quite a while. So on the bigger one, the Ganoa one, let's go ahead and do first spin. So this one definitely does not spin as long as the other one. So now going into first turn, let's go ahead and start with the Ganoa one. So I can't tell if it's magnetic or snapping into place. It's a very strong clicking mechanism. And so let's see if this is a super floppy where you could do that turn, that turn, and then turn that. Okay, so it looks like it is. So this one also clicks into place, but it's a lot easier to turn, a lot smoother, and uh, you can definitely feel the size difference on this one. 
And I believe this one is also a super floppy where you can do that. All right, so both of these seem like fun puzzles. Now let's briefly go over this last one, which I had nothing to really compare it to. These two are kind of just on their own. Uh, this isn't really a puzzle unless you kind of want to consider it a puzzle where this thing turns. Uh, this is just a sort of the, one of the first fidget spinners. I know Red KB did a lot of these. But you can get these with Fulbrights. Uh, you can get this in plastic or metal on the cubicle. And all it is is it spins like that. And then if you really want, you could spin it like that. So my final recommendations is uh, the two that I would recommend the most out of here are the 3x3 from Gnovo, which is 9 bucks, and then the Chi Floppy Puzzle. I'd, I'd pick this one over this one. This one spins for longer, it comes with a nice little stand right here, comes with the bag, uh, and it's easier to turn. And it, it also just looks nicer when it spins. Uh, it's kind of uniform with black around everything, whereas this one doesn't have it on the edges. Uh, overall, this is just a better quality floppy cube, uh, floppy spinner than this one. So I'd choose this one over this. And this one isn't really that fun to have, but this one I can definitely see me having a lot of fun with. It's a little bit loud. But it's a really, really fun novelty item. It's a good gift idea, too. If uh, you know anybody who is kind of young and likes fidget spinners and cubes, you can give them the best of both worlds and give them this for just nine bucks. So there's a quick unboxing and comparison of all the fidget spinner puzzles that I believe are out there. Let me know if there's any more that I missed down below. I'll have links to each and every one of these in the description down below. The two that I'd recommend the most are the Chi Floppy Spinner once again and the Gnoo 3x3 Spinner. These two are great puzzles, and I highly recommend them. So if you guys enjoyed that content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.